I hate lies. I hate lies. It's just like what I told you guys in my last stream, in my last SmackDown review. I did not fall for the double Eric Rowan nonsense. It was so clearly obvious. It was Eric Rowan who did it. Daniel Bryan is furious at Eric Rowan for lying to him. So is the partnership of Eric Rowan and Daniel Bryan over now? To be perfectly honest, what is what is left for Eric Rowan now? I mean, like, here's the thing. Like, Daniel Bryan kind actually kind of made Eric Rowan successful. And if this truly is the end of the Planeteers, or whatever they're called, Eric Rowan is going to be reduced to nothing. I think Bryan and Rowan are still going to remain together. I, I, I think... Because Roman Reigns gave his spear to Daniel Bryan because he doesn't believe that because Daniel Bryan said that he had no clue that Eric Rowan did this. So, basically saying if Eric Rowan did it, then Daniel Bryan would have done something to do something about it. So, sorry about that guys, I'm a bit, a bit itchy. Um, yeah, so I am, I am expecting Bryan and Rowan to stay together. So, so, uh, what did Brian call Buddy Murphy? A liar? A cowardly liar? So if anybody is the liar, it is you, Daniel Bryan. So, I, I knew it was Brian, I knew it was Rowan, you, you can't fool me. I expected it to be them, considering that, ha considering how they were acting, you know, oh yeah, oh he had nothing to do with it. You know, like they were saying, oh I had nothing to do with it or anything like that, you know, like it was clearly obvious it was them. And considering how they were abusing Buddy Murphy as well, also kind of gave clear evidence it was them. What Buddy what? Brian and Rowan were doing was clear evidence that they did it. Especially Rowan. I always called Eric Rowan again. Like, see, this is what happens. You know, we're so used to calling the guy Rowan and now he's called Eric Rowan. Like, see what happens when you change people's names? Like, you're so used to it. But then they decide to go back to the way, they, the way it was. So, anyway... The show started off with Randy Orton. Randy Orton uh, said that he was going to go meet his son and uh, continue to attack his family. I mean, I don't like the whole family angle in this. Sure, the storyline's getting better. But I'm not a big fan of just having Randy Orton say, Oh, I'm going to target your family. I mean, like, I think... Having this all about the new day is another good is a way to you know make it seem more important. Considering Xavier Woods is injured, they should make it more all about Xavier Woods' injury. But alas, they are continuing the family storyline, which I'm not, which I'm kind of tight, which I'm not a fan of that. Like, like. So weird how this time of this time last year Samoa Joe was targeting AJ Styles' family, and now around about this same time again, this round, this, the bear use your words, Patrick. This time this year, Randy Orton is now targeting Kofi Kingston's family. 
So it seems like every single summer, we're going to have a storyline of insert wrestler going to be targeting insert wrestler's family. So I, I wish they would, I wish they would change things up a bit. But yeah, the storyline's getting better, and they confirmed it for Clash of Champions. It'll be Randy Orton and Kofi Kingston. I'm not expecting Randy Orton to win the WWE title now. I, I'm not expecting it to happen. Even though I want it to happen. So we had Ali and Buddy Murphy. They put on an absolute brilliant match. Every Buddy Murphy match is always a joy to watch. And Ali got the victory with the 450 splash. I'm not too mad about this. I, it was a great match. I'm not too frustrated about Buddy Murphy losing. You know, he, he, he he's had a really awesome three weeks. He's had a very awesome three weeks. And Buddy Murphy seems like he has officially become babyface because he uh, shook Ali's hand in respect. The Miz challenges Shinsuke Nakamura for the Intercontinental Championship. Please, I don't want to see anything involving the Miz challenging for a championship, let alone a title he has no business challenging for. Miz has no business. Miz has absolutely got no business challenging Shinsuke Nakamura for the Intercontinental Championship. No business. He literally has no business. He's on Raw. For Christ's sake, this is another reason why I hate the wildcard rule. It's the fact that, that, that wrestlers are challenging for different titles. Like the Revival, they're challenging the New Day for the SmackDown titles. Now we get The Miz challenging Nakamura for the Intercontinental title. What's next? Is AJ Styles going to feud with someone on SmackDown? I would much rather... I would just much rather if they just did Drew McIntyre and AJ Styles, to be honest. It's a good match idea. I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. The Miz is not the guy to beat Nakamura. If anyone should be beating Nakamura for that thing, it's Buddy Murphy. Next we had Bailey. She took on Lacey Evans, who we have not seen since Extreme Rules. Go away, wildcard rule. Please, just go away. I want this wildcard thing to be dead. It's just so darn annoying. But Bailey got the win over Lacey Evans. Because she has to look strong heading into her match at Char against Charlotte. We had Randy Orton. He took on Big E. And um, I'm thinking Big E could turn heel. But again, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think Big E is going to turn heel. Randy Orton beat Big E. The Revival were there, posing with Randy Orton. We had 24-7 shenanigans. We had Elias. He was sitting on the crown. He was sitting on the throne. He had the crown on and the scepter. And... And Kevin Owens attacked Elias. Gave him the stunner. And it seems like Kevin Owens' new catchphrase is now... Stun Owens Stun. Not fight Owens fight. It's now Stun Owens Stun. It's not bad. I'm not criticizing it. But that seems to be his new catchphrase now. And Kevin Owens did not pin the 24-7 champion. He did not pin him to become the 24-7 champion. R-Truth made the uh, attempt to become a 14-time 24-7 champion. R-Truth already won more 24-7 titles than Charlotte. Our truth has won this title more times than Charlotte has won women's titles. Our truth is shoved down our throats, ladies and gentlemen. I'm joking around. I'm joking around. Our truth's hilarious, but but Drake Maverick he managed to sneak in and get the pin on on Elias, and he's now a five-time twenty-four-seven champion. Now hurry up. Wants to make your marriage 
So then that way you don't have to worry about complaining on social media that you still haven't consummated your marriage, or however you say it. You better hurry up and do it, Drake. You, you've got, you, you've had all the time in the world to consummate your marriage. So you better do it now before someone sneaks up on you and pins you. We had Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin in the King of the Ring. You know, this match was fine. This match was fine. We haven't seen Shelton Benjamin in a long time. This is probably his first match in 2019. So... So... Did this really? This, Sheldon Benjamin was just another body, I guess. I get. You could say he could pretty much say he was just another body to be put in this thing. And Chad Gable got the win, and so the quarterfinals is now set. We've got Joe versus Ricochet, Corbin versus Alexander, Ali versus Elias, and Gable versus Andrade. So far, my only pick, Buddy Murphy, was my pick to win. He's gone. Drew was one of my other picks. He's gone. My only pick is still left standing is Andrade. He's the guy that I have... He's the final guy that I have picked to be a possible winner. So hopefully... I can only hope... That uh, Andrade can... Get, get the King of the Ring crown. And then the main event was the whole Roman Reigns, Eric Rowan stuff. I don't need to talk about that again. I talked about it at the start. Yeah, overall, SmackDown was definitely a much more a, enjoyable show than Monday Night Raw was. Definitely. So, thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. Comment your thoughts down below as well. And I will see you all in in, in, in in the next video. Before I go, I want to let everyone know my Wi-Fi is all fixed, so live streams will will, will not so, so live, live streams will not be postponed. That's a good thing at least. Anyway, guys, see you guys later.